the On Your Side forecast with Karen Lair. Welcome back to this very wet Thursday across the Treasure Valley. Gray skies and high winds are the case across the area. Seeing a little bit of mixed precipitation in downtown Boise right now and temperatures are pretty cold. We're sitting in the upper 30s, but it feels like the mid 20s because we have sustained winds out of the northwest at 29 miles per hour. You can kind of see it shaking the camera there from time to time. So definitely gusty winds that will continue throughout the evening and overnight tonight into tomorrow. Temperatures are in the 30s across the entire state. Low 30s for McCall and the Twin Falls area. The Magic Valley sitting at 33 degrees where they are seeing a transition into snow over the afternoon hours and snow showers will continue there throughout the evening. We still have a flood warning in place for the eastern portion of the state along with the Boise River and the Weezer River. That high wind warning stays in place until midnight tonight that stretches from the Treasure Valley through to the Magic Valley and south of the Nevada border. That's where we're seeing gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour in some locations. Also a winter weather advisory for some of the central mountains in the Oahe Mountains mountains where they are seeing several inches of snow with this storm. So here's a look at that storm moving through overnight. There's the morning commute switch over into snow for many locations, switching back into rain throughout the afternoon right now. And we are going to be seeing these showers continue throughout the evening and into the night, but tomorrow looks to be improving quite a bit. Now the Magic Valley also started things off with rain, switching over into snow, as we mentioned, and they're gonna continue to see those showers throughout the evening tonight. So do be prepared, you're gonna need the umbrella, but hold on to it because we are going to be seeing those gusty winds as well sticking around. So here's a look at eight o'clock tonight. Things are starting to clear out of the Treasure Valley, will dry up this evening, and the windy conditions will stick around though. So tomorrow we're gonna be seeing snow lingering up in the mountains and in the Magic Valley for the morning and then conditions will dry up throughout the day tomorrow, but the windy conditions will stick around. We are still going to be susceptible to some gusts up to 40 miles per hour in the Treasure Valley. So we were mentioning we've already seen upwards of an inch and a half of rain in some locations around Boise, between Boise and Nampa, closer to one inch so far, and this is what we can expect to add to that by the end of the night tonight and into tomorrow. So possibly seeing three tenths of an inch additionally in Boise up to a half an inch adding to our total so far in Stanley where they are seeing snow throughout the day. And here's a look at these sustained winds. So 37 mile per hour sustained winds right now in Mountain Home, very windy. 25 mile per hour sustained winds in the Western Valley and these winds will stick around. Here's a look at tomorrow morning. So another very windy and gusty day out there expected and then things will die down by the time we get into the weekend. So Saturday looks to be much calmer with sunshine and we will see the sunshine tomorrow making a return, but very windy conditions will make things feel a little bit cooler out there. So we will be into the low 60s across the Treasure Valley with a chance of seeing that mix of rain and snow linger throughout the night tonight and then up in the mountain areas we could see those showers linger into the morning 55 for the high in Idaho City will be into the 50s for council as well mid 40s for a change up in the Long Valley breezy conditions though and then towards Stanley they'll be warming up as well that winter weather advisory will expire tonight and overnight snow is possible into the morning tomorrow. Magic Valley mid 50s to near 64 tomorrow. Those overnight showers will linger into the morning, but things will clear up by tomorrow afternoon. We'll welcome in some sunshine and the weekends actually looking really nice. So 61 degrees for our Friday. We'll be seeing the sunshine make a return, but things are going to feel much cooler Wednesday, but Saturday you'll actually be able to enjoy temperatures feeling more like 60. The winds will die down for the weekend. Gorgeous weekend ahead and we don't see any rain showers across that whole seven days there. So 72 on Thursday. Yeah, a week from now, something to look forward to. So if you weren't crazy about the weather today, things are looking up. All right, thanks, Karen.